we in this uh, uh, National Science Day celebration, uh, many of you have uh, attended in the morning session that, uh, uh, what is that? Uh, Ideathon. Ideathon. Ideathon 2017. So I welcome you all. Today uh, in this function, I also welcome uh, today the chief guest of uh, this function, Professor Prakash Srivastava, who is available online from Los Angeles. He is a Professor Emeritus. Science and technology have seen a tremendous growth in India since 1930. However, the scientific attitudes of our rural masses still need to catch up with the Western world. Every man, woman, and child must recognize that science holds the key to our future. And every student, even from class one, must learn technical skills. Imagine how great India would be if we were as proud of the knowledge of science as we are proud of our philosophy. So, in even in America, we start the first grade school, elementary school, by teaching a method called STEM, science, technology, English, and mathematics. So we should improve science and technology even in the first grade of the elementary school. Now I'm happy to present to you the scientific and technological developments that we have made to produce, to make the disability, disabled people productive by providing them prosthetics. It is understood that 2.1% of the Indian population are disabled for one reason or the other. Many of these cannot access or afford health care or get assistant, assistant device. They mostly depend on charity or poor quality substitutes and become non-earning members in their families. I work with Medicity, Institute of Medical Sciences, <coughs> or MEMS, and Vixpilani Hyderabad campus to, to employ high-tech solutions to enable persons with amputations to walk and be abroad. Next. Our success to date is shown by this man who is wearing a prosthesis made by our made by our by us. This prosthesis is very significant because it's very high quality. And if you can see he is walking pretty nicely and could do any job in fact, this person is a farmer and does his agricultural work also in his village. There is another person here walking quite well, as you can see in the video. And I wanted to show you a few of them who are quite successful. In, in changing their lifestyle and can be employed by many organizations because they are mobile. So, Professor Prakash sir, I would like to know from you, you know Thomas Edison, deaf and dumb boy. Thomas Edison, who invented electricity, he is a deaf and dumb boy. At that time, there is no specially able in the whole technologies and all. What was his actually ability, able technology used so that he invented electricity as the number one 
Contact in the world. Could you ever say a little please? I think uh, every inventor is dumb and deaf. <laughs> He is deaf to anything, he is deaf to anything that is against him. He becomes deaf to any like, criticism that you may have. And he is dumb because he thinks he knows everything. However, in the end, Edison said, when somebody asked him, how does the light bulb work? He said, don't ask me how it works because I know a thousand ways why it doesn't work. <laughs> and uh, first uh, winner is like in the sense like who got the first place was Mr. Ratan Prasad Reddy. Yeah, please. Are you going to come and tell us your idea? So you can quickly brief in, your concept. In a one minute, tell yeah, us your minute. idea, what you want to. Oh, oh. Yeah. This is also required. So. Good afternoon everyone, respected dignitaries on the dais, faculty and uh, students of NOM. Actually, in the morning I spoke about prosthetic limbs. Coincidentally, uh, Sar also presented about the prosthetic limbs. Uh, what I understand is this prosthetic limbs, what we use uh, uh, at present are very heavy for the uh, persons. So I thought of making prosthetic limbs with lighter materials like silica aerogel. Silica aerogel was a lighter material which was invented by the Chinese people very recently. So I thought uh, I thought about making prosthetic limbs with such lighter materials like silica aerogel, so that the prosthetic limbs will be uh, very lighter and the people will not feel any discomfort, uh, like something is uh, on their uh, on their feet. And also I thought of um, one idea I gave is that using some technologies like nanotechnologies for helping people with disabilities so that. Uh, lighter material can be used. That is that was my idea. Oh. So, this is your certificate. Thanks a lot. And congratulations. Something for you. And this is your prescription with Einstein right on the head. How to think like Einstein? <laughs> Next, I call upon uh, Miss Jennifer, the first runner. I'm from College of uh, Agriculture, uh, School of Agribusiness Management, PJTSAU. And uh, my idea was to, like, we already have some watches and smartphones for blind people with the help of touch screen and uh, voice recognition cameras. Uh, we already have this in the market and my idea was to link both of these products together so that uh, people those are wearing those touch screen watches can know uh, feel if anyone calls them they will get the uh, notification and they can feel who is calling and with the help of camera uh, they, as they can't see any color this color uh, this camera will recognize the color with the help of sound uh, sound coding it will help the person to understand which color is he using uh, which color is he uh, which color it is and um, we can even link the phone and i think watches are better because he can carry it with himself and he can use if he wants to go anywhere he can place the watch in in a place and then he can come and again take it, take his watch. Thank you. Wow. Think like Steve Jobs. The second runner-up, Mr. Mani Bharat. Good afternoon, one and all. Uh, my name is Kota Manibharat. I am from NAM. My idea is about uh, if we place an object in front of us, if we take a pic with the um, uh, Android phone, then that phone will spell out about uh, what the object is and what the main uses of that, so that it, uh, specially disabled person easily can recognize, they can uh, use it very easily. That's about my idea. So each 
each uh, participant is getting a, a prize where they think like some of the icons who have made it big in science. We would like to recognize like who took the interest of participating in this contest. So uh, I'll call upon all the participants. You can just take your uh, small uh, memento from our director. Ms. Uh, Swapna from PGT SAU. Participation certificate and uh, one year gift subscription for science reporter. Sri Harsha, PGT SAU. Jansi. Master Sanat. As a special appreciation, like uh, he was the youngest among all the participants. This will give him. Yes, no. <laughs> Still, he had the courage to just uh, come up and then being a third standard student, he presented it very well. The whole idea was to create an awareness that we need to think a little bit more beyond our normal, uh, you know, silos which we are really doing it's not that we are, we are not doing research for our stakeholders but the idea was if we could think a little differently for some of our uh, um, other members of the society who would be uh, who should be mainstreamed into uh, the normal type of work uh, i do appreciate everybody who has uh, taken time off to give those small sparks of uh, ideas which uh, were tried to be, you know, we tried to float them out because ideas lead to inventions and inventions will lead to innovations and that's the whole chain which we would look like to bring about and taking science into the society. Um, I would also on behalf of the academy take this uh, chance for this has been a very special occasion also in the sense that uh, we wanted to uh, reach out to and you know go beyond the country's uh, uh, frontiers and I think it's this experiment has been wonderful. Now, talking to such an eminent prof professor like Professor Prakash from the University of Southern California, uh, it's a, a definitely one way of uh, trying to tell that uh, India as a country is there at the global scenario and we would definitely like to take this experiment much, much beyond as a regular feature. And this is the start of how we want to do. Um, Professor, uh, uh, sincere thanks to you. Now, coming to the topic here um, on SNT, yes, uh, we had talked about uh, some of those challenging uh, issues which were uh, being addressed uh, by certain uh, teams across the world but i think for in the specific domain of agriculture also we have to start thinking in these lines not only for people to mainstream them and probably reduce some of the challenges when they come to the work life but we also i am just trying to extend it i'm just floating on an idea of extending the definition of specially uh, able persons because during, I was just happened to read yesterday night when I was uh, getting ready for the talk in the morning. A lot of our uh, uh, areas where the workers are, um, we have a lot of unskilled force in agriculture, in poultry, in fishery, in aquaculture operations. And over the years, there's a lot of documentation of people and workforce who get challenged, though they were not uh, challenged in the earlier. And so probably we need technologies which could mitigate some of the suffering which is there at the workplace. Similarly, we do have challenges uh, uh, in the post-harvest um, operations faced by the workforces. And you have a huge lot of human resources engaged and who are suffering because of certain accidents and who are challenged, becoming challenged. So we need to look at those technologies also, apart from, of course, especially able, normally we are uh, anyway trying to do. So that was, I was just thinking to add on to what Professor had talked on this. And this gives us, as science scientists today, and another area on opportunity uh, for us to really research and start thinking. Because ultimately, it is science which gives these ideas, which can be taken forward as uh, technologies and later, of course, products into the in the innovation run. I am proud to be part of this team, and then I thank everybody who has been uh, actively involved 
from all faculties supporting and then all the team like so at least we hope and then leave the uh, trust on the young team who came out with new ideas and uh, i also would like to specific uh, specify here like our judges were very honest and then fair to say that the ideas which are presented were abstract and uh, to take such ideas to reality they have to blend science and technology into it and then they are all made for it like so wish all the students participants and then all those who have been here uh, big thanks and then have a good time like thank you so much and very special thanks to professor prakash who has taken time uh, in the vias and uh, stayed with us all through and uh, one more person professor ragela who was uh, who could not make it but he was a person whom we reached first and this the they both they have worked together and then come out with this like we'll see like how we'll collaborate with them and then take this connection further to greater heights like thank you one and all